Through the good times and bad, this is NESA to Z, with Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. It's Dracula. Dracula's Curse. <laughs> now, this game has the infamous Dracu Daddy. That's yeah, true. It's Alucard. This is yeah, the debut of Alucard. Um, also, the first game which you can play as multiple characters. And also, one of the only through the main campaign. Um, just so you know, Tunner was kidding. Uh, he knows that Alucard is not. Right, right, right. I was quoting uh, Johnny Arcade. Video power, yeah, Johnny Arcade. Yeah. We got some story here. Cool music, like always. A bad world filled with evil. <laughs> Pretty objective. There. I just want to make a bad world <laughs> from good to bad. All right. All right. Well, here's the story. So let's do it. Let's do the opening. What's in that sound? So is this like leagues better than two? Absolutely, absolutely. This is definitely the best one on the NES. So it's kind of like whereas Link to the Past was like the true successor to Zelda One, like this is like a true successor to Castlevania One. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's exactly what. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I forgot to mention Link's Awakening. That was before, right? No, no, no Zelda was Zelda Three, right? Anyway, Castlevania Three. Yeah, Link's Awakening was after Link to the yeah. Past. Okay, and so there's our well shaded. You play hero. Simon in this? Yeah, I think you're Simon. Yeah. Didn't really you're get... actually Trevor. Yeah, I think you're Trevor. This is Trevor Belmont. This is Trevor? Yes. God, he looks just like Simon. Maybe well, it's Simon. They, they have similarities. They okay. are of the same family. So, how old is Belmont? I mean, not Belmont. I mean, Simon right now. Simon's dead. Okay. How many years is this after? Did it say? Uh, at least a century. I guess, yeah. Okay. So, is he right after him, you think? I believe or so. No. I, I don't quite recall the chronology right now, but I think so. I think... Trevor is the next one after, after Simon. He, um, has he ever gotten any other mentions or uh, like appearances? Um, yeah, actually, uh, he shows up in Symphony of the Night. Um, Maria is asking Alucard about Belmont. She's thinking of Richter, and actually, a little a little blip yeah. of this sprite pops up. Oh, above I remember. Right, because I remember. he worked with him in this game. That's awesome. That's so cool. Yeah, very neat. I don't think we'll be able to have time to get any more characters, but. Um, how does that work? I mean, you can just switch any time. Yeah. And, um, you share health, right? Yes, you do share health. Everybody has different abilities. Yeah, everyone has, like, yeah, different sub -weapons. You know, of course, there's Trevor, there's Grant, he's a thief. He's awesome. He's, I love how fast he is. Alucard is pretty cool, and then there's, uh, Saifa, Saifa the mage. Yeah. Um, That's really who's cool. related to who? Yoko? Yeah. yeah. Uh, she is one of Yoko's ancestors, and there's also... Uh, Carrie Fernandez, the uh, mage from the 64 game, is also known to be distantly related to her. Huh. Interesting. Those are the three characters, right, in this game? There's yeah. only three? Okay. Yeah. That, them and Trevor, of course. Well, yeah. Oh, jeez. So, is Dracula actually the final boss of this game? Not Death? Uh, I mean, he's the final boss of... I thought it was well, De no, Death is the final boss of two. No, no, he just looks like Death. He looks... Oh, really? So it is Dracula? I'm pretty sure it's Dracula. Okay. He just looks stupid. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, so this it's game. It's a great game, right? Yeah, yeah oh yeah, it's a, classic it's a great music. game. Do you, you know the name of this song? Um, this game, right, or this song right here? Yeah. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, is this Wicked Child? No, Wicked Child is no, like no, the second no. stage of the first one, I think. That's right. Let me actually just mention that. But, uh, I think it's be, called, uh, it's might called... just be Theme of Trevor. Yeah. Oh, geez, Medusa's great. But, um... Yeah, what's also cool about this one is, and you may see, if I can beat a level, then um, you choose your path. You choose the next stage you want to go to. It's pretty That's cool. Awesome. Yeah. I don't know if it's like they completely fork, like if you'll come to the same two, or you'll get a different, unique two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think you you go, you just come to the same two again. I'm, I'm, sure. uh, I'm kind of speechless right now just because it's, it's such a good game, you know? Like, yeah, I mean, there's... There's so little that can really be said about it. It's just... Apparently I'm in a town right now. Definitely one of the best games. If of not, its era. Yeah, uh, uh, of its era. Easily one of the best games on the NES. Yep. I mean, it might not have anything to make it super original, but I mean, it's just it's just solid. It's the I mean, pinnacle I, of this I said that in the last it. game in uh, Castlevania 1, but yeah, pretty much it's just... It's what it is perfected. Right. You know, Castlevania came up with some of the best offerings on the NES. Even even Castlevania 2, weird as it was, was a really good game. And this is definitely the best of the NES Castlevanias. 
I mean, and if you know what you're doing, like there, see, I knew to throw the knives. I mean, you're just gonna be just fine. Right. You can throw the knives or slash them. Either way, just if, if you're just prepared, you know what's coming. Like most NES games, just memory. Know what to do at every part. Can't really complain about the difficulty. Yeah, very solid challenge. When you get into the bulk of the game and you start having to switch between characters to yeah. advance in stages, the gameplay becomes really complex, but, you know, nevertheless, remains very solid. Yeah. Just adds variety. Right. Added challenge, almost like making it more puzzle-oriented Yeah, the first like, time. oh, I gotta use this guy. Okay, boss time. Is he... Yeah, this guy's pretty, pretty difficult if you don't know what you're doing. I probably am gonna die. Oh, jeez. Probably shouldn't have stayed on that side. Yeah. So, are the bosses, like, the hardest part of this game? Oh, yeah. Easily. I mean, that's that's any Castlevania, though. Yeah. I, I mean, I kind of hate the, any stage where you have to jump from thing to thing. Oh! Uh, really? So close. There we go, yeah. Okay, well, I know what I'm doing now. Yeah, you can do this. You always gotta start off by powering up your whip. You always get those power-ups, though, really fast, you know? The, the whip upgrades. Well, actually, the, the first candle that appears at each checkpoint contains a whip if it's used in the checkpoint. Hmm. And then, usually there's there's one pretty quickly after that. Yeah, they, they replace something. Usually a heart, a heart like yeah. a small heart. Okay, let's Almost never something essential. Yeah. Off to a good start? Yeah. <laughs> so is he? Okay. Not cool. Boss um. song is kind of typical. Yeah. It's... You know, I can just hack at him. Yeah. yeah. There you go, he's gone. You hear that groan? I did hear it. No. NES samples. Okay, so I think... Got, gotta love that victory. Yeah, it's awesome. I think what stage you choose here actually determines what character you're gonna get. So you can't get everybody? No, yeah. I mean, you can only have one at a time. Yeah. Okay. Well, which way? I get, that looks like a clock tower up and a forest down. I would go. Can we clock just go tower? back. Let's, let's go to the clock tower. Okay. Yeah. I think that's where you get Grant. You can just take a look at how screechingly angry this is going to make everyone. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, right at the beginning. This. Okay. Actually, it's not too bad. Well, at least the music's gonna be awesome, right? <laughs> the staple of clock tower stages. The music is always yes. so good. But then again, so it's Castlevania. You're going, you're going to be hearing it for so long. Yeah. Well, actually, this one's a bit less radical than it usually is. It's still a good song, nonetheless. Just have some drums and you got a good clock tower theme. Right. If I'm not mistaken, this picks up. <laughs> yeah, this sounds cool. And we got the stopwatch, which is an awesome sub -booking. Not very useful on bosses, but... Definitely useful on a stage like the clock tower. Yeah. I wonder if it stops the, uh, the gears from moving. That would be nice. That would be cool, honestly. I don't know. I know in some games it does, in other games it doesn't. Yeah, let's see. Ah, it's... Okay. No! No! Jeez. Hey, there's, we were talking about the stairs in Castlevania 1. Yeah. There's a perfect example of it. <laughs> Trying to use the sub weapon, falling straight through them. They're definitely the worst part of this game. Yep. Huh. Money, yay. Alright. So, I mean, is there really anything else that needs to be said about this game? Uh, it's <clears throat> bad. It's really bad. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. I mean, you see this? You seen this? I'm seeing it. I mean, if you're really watching, you'll probably notice how bad it is. I'm just like, what's with the graphics, you know? I'm like, what's with what's I, with them? I, who see, uses a whip? Though, what kind of hero uses a whip? You know? Uh, yeah. yeah, honestly, okay, objectively bad. Avoid the game. Right. Just oh, terrible. This, this game is great. It's amazing. Go and play it. If you've never played the Castlevania series, start now because it's incredible. Honestly, it'd probably be a better investment to just take a lighter. I mean, like buy some Bic lighters and just just burn yourself. It's not true. It's, uh, it's not. Not true. Why would you have to have multiple lighters in order to do that? Just, is... just to make the argument more ample. Okay, alright. No! Oh, oh, wow. I made it. Good jump. Yeah. Here we go. Pretty much needed to be perfect on that. Pretty easy clock tower so far. Alright, yeah, there that. actually might be enough time to get Grant if you want to go that long. I think he's in this stage. I guess but... we'll find out. Jeez, here we go. Oh, I remember this jump. Okay, if you do it too late, you're just gonna fall straight. If you do it too early, your head's gonna hit the, like, 
the top and you're not gonna make it. That's gruesome. Uh, it's cool, skeleton soldier. Yeah. I don't, you don't see many skeleton soldiers in the games, like, skeletons wearing armor. Actually, that's not true. They usually wear, like, that, that blue armor and have a shield, right? Right. Yeah. I guess none that look like that. No. No. Yeah, it's, you know, now that I realize it, I'm kind of sad this is the last Castlevania game we'll review, because yeah, Castlevania means dang. so much to us. It's It really is one of the greatest franchises just, of video games. Just gaming. go ahead and check out how smooth the animation is on that gear. No! No! Well, I guess check it out yourself. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we won't we won't get there, but um, yeah. This has been NES A to Z with Game Over. This is Castlevania Three, The Dracula's Curse. In case you want to get to where we were and be named G Dog. There you go. There you go. Catch you next time. <laughs>